One of my favorite things to do is to go out the back door and take off through the woods and go up the creek. I love to hike and I love being out in nature and looking at the creek and even though it's the creek I grew up by and it's the mountains I grew up nestled in, it, it, there's always something new to see. It's always something that amazes me no matter the time of the year, whether it's in the summer, the death of winter when there's no leaves on the trees or in spring of the year like it's getting to be right now when you look for the blooming and the buds and the greens. It, there's always something amazing to see. And while that's one of my favorite things to do, head up the creek, when I do that I'm really going out the the ridge kind of sloping along the ridge but and which is kind of steep but still you're just going at an you know an even kind of gate out through there along the edge you're not going straight up sometimes I do want to go straight up so sometimes I leave my back door and I go straight up the ridge behind our house it's a steep ridge so it's a tough climb so I don't do that very often but when I do do it it's gonna sound really silly but it's one of my favorite places to find myself so what does that mean well it just means when the troubles you know everyone has troubles in their life and when troubles get you down and you just need a, a moment to yourself and a moment to kind of gain your peace and get back on the right path, that's where I like to go is that high ridge. And most of the time, you know, when you go to find yourself, you need to go by yourself. That kind of helps in the whole matter. But one time when Corey and Katie was little, I would say they were maybe three, maybe four, but I decided I needed, oh my goodness, I just needed to go sit on this high ridge for just a few minutes and feel the wind in my face and just, just get my bearings again before I could continue. It wasn't nothing, it wasn't like I was going through a life tragedy, I'm not saying that, but just every once in a while you just need a little bit of peace away from everything. And so that day I tried to get somebody to keep Corey and Katie, I'm sure it was Granny, that's really the only person I ever left them with, and she must have been busy or been gone somewhere, so I finally decided, well, I just have to take them with me. Well, I had my mind so focused that I didn't even, uh, they were that little, they just had their shorts and their tennis shoes on in the summer, you know. I didn't even take time to put a shirt on them. So they they loved to be outside, though, and they loved adventure. So we crawled our way to the top. It's not really that far, it's just that steep. Anyway, by the time we got up there, their little bellies were scratched from the leaves, which they weren't upset because they loved being outside as much as I did. And they scampered around in the sunshine on top of the ridge while I found that moment of peace that I needed. For generations, Appalachians built their houses, built their homes down in the hollers and the coves, down near the settlements, down in where closer to flat ground so that they could build, you know, so that they could have their crops. That was where they built their homes, where they made their lives. But even they love to climb to those high ridges like I do to, for a moment of solace. Maybe they were going hunting. Maybe they just needed a minute by themselves. A lot of times in Appalachia, you'll find that's where their graveyards were. They were on those sloping flats on the high ridges because that land was not usable really compared to the low land to the bottom land down in the valleys where they could grow crops and, and have pastures of course sometimes you'll hear the jokes about um, people growing corn on the side of a mountain and they uh, over their lifetime they got to where one leg was shorter than the other because they were constantly having to hold on you know as they planted their corn and hoed it and harvest it and all that but for generations those Appalachians the same way that I do they found their solace on the those high mountain ridges.
I think the reason the high mountain ridges work so well to find that moment of peace you need to continue is because once you're up here, you feel so far removed from everything. Uh, it's real peaceful. I can't really hear anything. Uh, even though the Stamy Creek is, is down there, I can barely hear it in the distance. It's not like I can hear it like when I'm at my house, how it sounds. So even that's just like a gentle white noise in the background. It's funny that how sound travels, uh, we live behind a, a really large cattle farm. At my house, I can't ever hear the cows, but up here I can. It's funny how tra sound will travel like that. But it's such a peaceful, quiet, just almost still area up here on the ridge. And if someone did decide they were going to follow me or come up here, I'd hear them long before they got here. There's no way to be quiet in the woods, you know, especially when you're going straight up. So I would hear them before they got, got here. But I think that's what uh, that peacefulness that lends itself you you feel so far removed from the troubles You really do feel like you're on a higher plane and that all that's way down below you and and yes It'll still be there when you go back But just knowing that there's a way to leave it behind of course as a believer Being here on this high mountain ridge makes me feel closer to to the Lord and closer to my faith But it really it really means something to me when I think about like I said those Appalachians that lived in the hollers and the coves They too they carved out mountain trails you you know, on, on mountains as steep as a mule's face, as they would say, but they carved out those trails that led to those sloping high ridges so that they could go find a moment's peace or maybe they were where they could go hunt more easily or whatever it was. They, too, enjoyed the high ridges of Appalachia. I told y'all I'd be right there. Oh. Are you in your house shoes? Yep. Oh, that's crazy. Huh? That's kind of crazy. I've roamed all over these woods my whole life and I shouldn't be worried about them. Oh, yeah. I think that's a sassafras. Is it? I don't know. 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 I don't